Yeah. Okay, um, welcome back to WorldCupPreview.com, and we're up to Group D now, consisting of... Uh, Germany, Australia, Serbia, and Ghana. Right. So, um, just look at this group itself. Um, okay, yeah, I th- firstly, first, before we begin, I want to apologise if you're biased with Australia in this video, because we're actually Australians. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can yeah, see you can the see um, uh, yeah. shirts and the decorations are behind us. So, um, yeah, uh, you can expect us to be a bit biased with Australia. However, we use our hands, <laughs> not our hearts. <laughs> when we do the analysis, we'll come, it will come up with a more... Um, objective. Uh, objective view, not... Let's go with the money, soccer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> come on, <laughs> see, like, Go with uh, the thing. Uh, right. Um, so, just looking at this from a neutral perspective, um, it's a very tough group. It tight is. Group. Um, people are saying Group G is a group of death with Brazil, Portugal... Um, Ivory Coast and North Korea, but this is definitely the group of death because mm. all four teams have a chance. <laughs> the group of neither. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah, all four teams have a chance of getting through, or any of the four teams could perish. Um, realistically, Germany won't perish, but any one of the teams can easily make it, and um, that's why this is a classic group of death. Um, and it's all the more difficult for us to analyze. And I mean, as you'll see. Even after talking to you guys now, uh, we still won't come up with a firm decision. It's just mm, very difficult to... It is. But anyway, look, let's start off with the Germans. Um, I really love the Germans. They're, 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 one, they're, they're, one, they're a wonderful World Cup team with a proud history, a, a real tournament team. Um, mm. You look down, the, you look at England's list, you look at Spain's list, and you've got all these players that scare you in different positions. You're like, oh, whoa, well, you know, they've got this guy, they've got this guy, they've got, they've got this backup keeper, they've got this backup defender, they've got these world-class midfielders. Mm. You look down Germany, there's a few world-class players, but it doesn't scare you that much. But they, as a team, you know, they're just wonderful. They've got, a, they've got a great culture of doing well in tournaments, they've got a great culture of being written off and then doing well, which is the opposite of um, our last video, which is England. <laughs> um, so they, they, they get written off. They go far, um, they don't have any crazy stars, they do have, you know, about Alex Schweinsteiger and a few others, but it's it's not like, you know, they're getting paid multi-billion dollar contracts like, you know, where you, when you see England and Spain, every single player. You say multi-billion dollars. <laughs> multi-million, whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Um, it's a, uh, yeah, so they're not a Galacticos, but they're, they're all that, but that doesn't matter. I mean, just ask Real Madrid. Yeah. Um, well, well, so long as you win, well, so long as you're a good team. Historically, Germany have been a tournament team, yeah. and um, they are what Spain and England are not. Yeah, exactly. A tournament team. Yeah. Um, they've been able to rise above the weight. I mean, you you just looking at the uh, the players from down the years and the te- the teams from down the years. Mm. You think England and Spain have won more World Cups, but no, the Germans have won four World Cups. I don't know what what make, we know. I don't know what it is with the Germans, yeah. but they they're, they're great. They're just they're they, they, they do have something about them. It's a cultural thing. They it's perform a, when they have to perform, perform. and exactly. get the results. So, you know, the three-time world champion... And a telling statistic of that is that the most ever top four finishes by anybody, even more than Brazil. Yep, so um, most semi-final appearances in the World Cup. 11 times. 11 times. Even so more than Brazil. So, three, three-time world champion, they've been in the final seven times. Three times or four times? Three times. Three times, sorry. Each one, one of them is East Germany. Sorry, no, West Germany, not West Germany. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, um, yeah. So, uh, it's it's a kind of a uh, it, it's a strange one to analyze because you can I, I can criticize them all day and say well you know they don't have any big stars but then at the same time I'm saying well it doesn't really matter but we'll go we'll go through all that stuff anyway. Another thing which which has helped them become a good tournament team is their great record from shootouts. Oh yes, that's wonderful. Uh, it was a, uh, they've only lost once, I think it is. So that was a European championship, I think. But um, in terms of World Cups, they've played four. They've participated in four penalty shootouts in World Cups, and they've won them all. Mm-hmm. Last time in Germany, in two thousand six, they uh, they beat Interesting Argentina. statistic. I think I don't know the exact numbers, but I think things since nineteen eighty six. Germany has not beaten a big team in big in open play. A big team includes Argentina, Holland, England, Spain, France, etc. And I think there's two, two penalty shootouts where they got past uh, one of really? the big teams. So they're, they're, mm. they're, they're like that. So if Germany comes up against England in a penalty shootout in this World Cup, <laughs> England. You, know, you know where your money's going. So, <laughs> um, it's, uh, so yeah, I mean, that, this kind of thing is really... Uh, so they are a tournament team. They're, they're a complete team. They're, 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 they're a whole package. In terms you of that, you wouldn't want to go against them. They are um, they're strong, physically they're very strong. Technically, yeah. they 
I mean, some star players better than others, but I mean, together looks like they can, they can just perform and um, you know. Never write the Germans off. Never do. Never. Because, absolutely um, not. I mean, the people have tried and failed miserably. I mean, uh, people wrote them off in 2002. They came second. People wrote them off in 2006. They came third. Um, I and mean, they, you, you can criticise them for not winning it, but these people, these are the sorts of people that are saying they wouldn't get past a group. No, things like that. You know, it's, no, it's ridiculous. No one thought that, you know, you know after, after six, no one thought they could actually perform Euro 2008. And, and then they can run us up, you know. I mean, it's a bit hard. I only run us up. It's okay. It's, it's, it's I wish them, you know. <laughs> Uh, and it's uh, it's a bit heartbreaking that they're not winning. They're coming second and third, but come on, I mean, uh, if they're, if they're, overall that's wonderful. I yeah. think with Germany, you know, just like you know, German companies, German firms, they're very efficient. So <laughs> they make, most of what they have is as efficient yeah. as possible. Whatever they make, they make it really well. Put pieces together, <laughs> put all the pieces together, 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 and, make and it'll work. It'll work. Well, well, <laughs> it'll and never break. And which gets the results. Quality. They want. <laughs> together, they're just yeah, quality. And that's some, something about Germany, and um, so you know. Germany, just don't write them off. Uh, the, the, okay, the, 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 that's enough praise, Martin. Despite, let's, let's keep. Despite, let's keep. <laughs> <laughs> despite, despite t- the, the, the toughness of this group, um, Germany. Um, They'll get through pretty we'll easily. Through. So let's talk about uh, the strikers and their lack of game time. Um, Podolski, closer, Gomez. Lack of form. Uh, lack of form, lack of game time. But, I don't know. Germany somehow. That's, um, that seems to be the weakness at this time. No, at this stage, yeah. This uh, stage, you know. Um, but, you know, you got. Balak can score goal too. You got Philip Lam do yeah. runs and score goals. Um, uh, I think Schweinsteiger is their main man. I think um, Balak sort of so slightly past can it. do great um, um, long range shots. And uh, uh, he just yeah, he box in the box. You know, good cross, mm. good set piece taker. He's he's their main man for me. Um, and in terms of the other guys, um, you're yeah, not getting much game time, but uh, they gel. They they're so well. That's all that matters. You're doing well for the country, and that's all really that matters. You know, I mean, you only have to look at um, Ronaldo, the the fat Ronaldo from before, who but you know, <laughs> who who I mean, between um, the France ninety eight and two thousand and two, he just just passed it. Everyone thought it was gone, and out of nowhere, in Korea and Japan, he just set the world alight. Um, he scored every game. It was ridiculous. Yeah, and it, it was. It, it just goes to show, you know, you, you do it when it counts, and I, I think these boys can. I wouldn't be surprised if Miroslav closer uh, bangs in a few headers, and then the next, <laughs> and he'll get close to that 15 as well. So, Ronaldo, watch out. Um, How many is he got now? How much is it? 10, ten uh, five in the last two tournaments. So, he gets six five in the record. Yeah, five if, if they, do you want to go to the well, final? You never possible? know. The Germans, they could go very far in the tournament, mm. and. Uh, <clears throat> Um, Talking about other players, there's a young star called Ozil. I think you heard of him. Oh, no, I don't know. Heard of him. He's a young rising star. He 